Hi Collective, Kaisha here. Thank you for joining me on my channel, The Butterfly Effect Tarot. Huge, 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 huge shout out to my day ones, my foundation subscribers, all of my new subscribers. Thank you, you are appreciated. And if you're checking me out for the first time and this reading resonates with you or I as a reader resonate with you, I encourage you to please share, like, and of course, don't be shy, subscribe. This is a general energy check. All of my day ones, you know the drill, take what resonates, discard the rest. Don't try to force it to fit, it will confuse you. If it's not your reading, that's okay. Click the notification button. I am sure Spirit will have something for you at another point in time in your timeline. Also, feel free to book me for a personal reading. You can hit me up on the live tarot line, your harmonic wave. If you call the line and you don't get me, that means I'm on with someone else. Feel free to slide in my DM on Instagram at Light Group Life. That information is in the description box and we can book a time for you. Also, you can also... Um, Take advantage of the Summer Insights mini reading promo. It's only $40 for a reading, which is really very good. Okay, so uh, that link is on Instagram as well. And you can catch it on the community board as well. Okay, so collective, let's see what's going on with you. Spirit, thank you for your clear and concise messages. I'm here in my inner stand. What messages do you have for the collective that is for their highest good? Someone in this collective, you're Syrian, did you know that? Or you're Pleiadian? Someone is me Menatokin? I just started learning about that species. Hmm, interesting. You have the Holy Child, okay. Someone could be of Asian descent. And someone has, uh, I like the shape of your eyes. You have like these little nice almond eyes. Mm -hmm. Almond shaped eyes. You have a wake. Mm. Someone could like pearls. Or you're like me, you like sparkly stuff. <laughs> and you have God. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Let's clarify. Let us clarify. Let me do this here so I'm like facing you. It is it's early in the morning, collective, and I'm just like I'm just chilling. <laughs> hey, chilling, trying to stay cool and in my zen. Spirit, please clarify. Star seed. I can't make this up. You're a star seed. Okay. Welcome. You're not from here. You're in the world, but you're not of the world. Okay. I know. It can be kind of shitty here sometimes, but you gotta make the best of things. Someone in this collective, um, you may feel like you don't belong or you've been misplaced or feel like something's missing. You're missing home. Mm -hmm. I feel this energy of longing and just, just, it's like you're missed somewhere you feel like you've never been, but you have, right? I don't, you haven't been there in so long. Hmm. But Spirit wants you to remember that you are a divine child of the universe. You're always connected, okay? You're never alone. There's actually more etheric beings than there are, like, humans and stuff. There's way more of them than us, okay? You could be seeing 22, okay? 222. Spirit, please clarify. Holy child. Wow. Please clarify the devil. Clear the energies of the previous reading from this deck. Please clarify the devil. Wow. Whew. Who is this? Spirit, please clarify. Seven of Swords. Please clarify the hangman. Whoever I'm speaking to, you are mature, you've grown a lot, you've seen a lot, you've been through a lot. And that's why you don't, you know who you are and you know what you want. You've released yourself from something very toxic here. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, you did. You let go of something or someone that had you in your feelings all the time or maybe just feeling unsettled within yourself. It's like, snap out of it, right? <laughs> We're hearing someone say, bitch, snap out of it. You know what you're about, all right? I feel like you could have released yourself from being in this hangman energy of, it could have been a transi transition. It's kind of like you were just there trying to figure out which way to go, uh, which way to go, who you are really, and then you remembered. Mm -hmm. Your higher self was on you about appreciating yourself more, giving yourself more credit. Mm -hmm. It's like you are a divine child of the universe. What do you mean you don't know who you are? You are a spark of the creator. What do you mean you can't do that, right? You, I keep hearing you a whole boss, right? What do you mean you ain't got this? Yes, you do. You had to snap out of something and remember who the fuck you are and what time it is. Yeah. In, um, in Jamaica, them said, you don't know what o'clock I strike. <laughs> right? It's like, you're like, listen, wait, wait, come on. What's up? Why are you acting like you don't know who you are? It's like you decided to get with your own program here, right? Figure out what your program is and stay focused on that. Mm -hmm. Some of you, it's like your higher self was saying, don't try to fit in. You're not even from here, right? So going with the trend and trying to, I'm, I'm, seeing, I'm seeing wallflower, I'm hearing wallflower and trying to blend in. That's not really going to work for you, right? You are different, own it. You are unique, own it. You are a star seed, own it right and i feel like that's what you did or that's what you're doing but there was something very um some of you could have been in your head about maybe even depressed or feel like you were going crazy a bit because you weren't really sure if you are who you say you are you are who you believe you are i'm hearing she who creates herself so a spirit has been watching, um, it's one of my favorite shows, it's called Queen of the South. And it's about this woman who really came from absolutely nothing to be like the biggest drug queen pin. And okay, not promoting that, but I'm, it's the things that she went through, right? And it's like battle after battle. It was like anarchy and chaos around her all the time. But it's who she became. She could have decided to just fold and let people walk all over her and deal with her and treat her like a slave and a mule and she said no i ain't doing none of that right she had to remember and she had to remember every day who she was and now she's like the biggest drug runner in like almost the world right it's just a movie it's not real but it's this is like spirit saying to you why don't forget who you are right you're not from earth so the power that you have it's not even from here use it <laughs> right Use your gifts. Your your ancestors, your angels are looking at you like, when are you going to remember, right? And I feel like you did. Your higher self was looking at you like, some of you, you could look yourself in the mirror and be like, what am I doing? Where am I going? Like, what's What am I supposed to be doing with my life? And it's like, remember, right? Mm -hmm. Someone in this collective, you could practice mirror magic or you were doing it on subconsciously, looking at the mirror and talking to yourself. Mm -hmm. yourself answered back like bitch <laughs> nigga what do you mean you don't know how to do something this is who you are this is what you were made for this is who you were always meant to be yourself in all your glory and all your power and all your divinity spirit please clarify the visionary someone in this collective you're very intuitive as well i told you i can't make this up Spirit wants you to put the work in, to use everything that you have, everything that you've learned, all your experiences, all the drama, all the chaos, all the trauma, all the healing, all the happiness, right? All the desires that you had to manifest what it is that you want. There is a vision inside of you, okay? And Spirit wants you to put all of your energy into that. You can absolutely manifest what it is that you desire, right? You have that dream for a reason, okay? There's no accidents in the universe, mm-hmm. It is organized chaos. Some of you could be seeing seven, repeating sevens. Okay, you're very psychic. That is an understatement. Spirit, please clarify the magician. 
yeah some of you could be going through it's like you could have grown up in a religious background and now you're more spiritual and you're questioning if what you're doing or, or what you believe now if it's right yeah if it's right for you right mm -hmm. <laughs> right you could be questioning uh, belief systems, traditions, cultural ways of being, religions. Mm -hmm. you It's like you were questioning what's true for you. And Spirit is saying, you decide that. No one can tell you that, right? What may be true for someone else may not have any bearing and may not resonate with you at all, right? You decide that. It's your vision for your life, right? If you believe that you are supposed to be a millionaire and you are supposed to live abundantly and be happy, then who is anybody to question that, right? That's what you believe. That's the reality you're creating for yourself. Um, there's an expression. If you believe you can, you can. If you believe you can't, you can't. Spirit, please clarify the tower in reverse. For some of you, spirit wants you to be confident in your decision to avoid some kind of, or dodge some kind of bullet here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, that's too much. And some of you, this is about resisting putting your best foot forward, right? Making the moves that you want to make. It's, it's great to have a vision, but what are you doing about it? All right? What kind of work are you putting towards it? Who are you being? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is about feeling good about the decisions that you make for yourself, feeling contented within yourself, feeling like you're in a good space. Some of you are resisting that. It's like Spirit would say you feel a lot better if you just got on your job, whatever that is you decide for yourself. I feel like someone, this Spirit is pushing you to follow your dreams and they're not going to stop pushing you till you do it. Please clarify the sun because it's like you're not happy inside. Mm -hmm. hmm. I just want to see something. Spirit, please clarify the sun in reverse. The thing is, there. I can't make this up. There's a connection. You're connected. You're connected, right? And it's like, lay, lay a foundation for yourself, right? Lay that foundation for yourself. If you want this new beginning, mm -hmm. please clarify the sun in reverse. Some of you could have found yourself with someone that you had a vision for, or you wanted something with them and realized that uh, being with someone was it was preventing you from being the best version of yourself, right? Preventing you from truly feeling content within yourself, right? And even though you felt connected to someone, you weren't happy because it's like nothing was happening. Mm -hmm. Someone in this collective, you could have found out that a child was not yours, a masculine energy. Mm -hmm. Or some of you may not have wanted to have a child, right? Or wanted a child. I told you I can't make this up feeling rooted and grounded, right? Some of you may need to do some um, root work, feeling stable, um, dealing with any fears, feeling confident in yourself, confident enough to, to do something, make some kind of move, right? Spirit wants you to follow your vision. That dream that you had, that, that project that you always wanted to work on, do it now, right? Now is all that matters. Spirit, please clarify. God. Some of you, you're doing too much, right? It's like you're doing too much of the things that are not really, they're not helping you get what you want, right? This could be like you're starting a job or you um, not even, you work at a nine to five and you want to start your own business, but you just feel like you have no time. Some of this collective, you could be a single parent, right? With more than one child. And it just seems like almost an impossibility to really sit down and focus on what it is that you want. But spirit is saying with the magician, Use everything that you have. You're very intelligent, okay? You have a lot of skills, talents, wisdom, knowledge. You're resourceful. Figure out how to make it work for yourself because this is your life that you're designing for you, right? I feel like some of you are carrying a lot. Mm -hmm. You have a lot of responsibilities and it may be weighing you down. 
You may feel like you have the weight of the world on your shoulders. Mm -hmm. Spirit wants you to take some time for yourself. Yeah. So that you know how to move forward um, successfully. This is just taking some time to yourself to think, right? Yeah, I can't make this up so you can move forward successfully. Mm -hmm. So you can overcome obstacles. Whoever I'm speaking to, water may be very significant for you. It's very healing. Drink water, alkali water. Um, but it's like, don't be afraid to shut out the world sometimes. And I even want to say put the blinders on. Uh, I feel like this is spirit kind of nudging you to be more selfish. Mm -hmm. More selfish with your time, energy, your effort and what you're doing, why you're doing it, who you're doing it for, mm -hmm. so that you can have a plan, right? Spirit wants you to put some plan together for yourself. Think ahead. Mm -hmm. I'm hearing future focus, mm -hmm. but you need to have a grounded plan. Like, okay, the next 30 days, I'm gonna do this. I'm hearing 30 day challenge for some of you. Just to start getting you in the groove of creating new, healthier, better habits for yourself. Spirit, please clarify. Please clarify, um, Four of Swords. Mm. There is somebody who is they're feeling burdened right now. They feel like they have the weight of the world on them because I feel like someone is in isolation right now. They could be, there could be a separation between you two, but they are, they're codependent on your, either they're codependent on your energy or they're codependent period. They feel like they, it's like they feel like they can't come towards you, right? They can't take the path that they want to take towards you. So they're kind of just keeping quiet and keeping to themselves, but they really want something with you. Mm -hmm. I also feel like some of you are staying away from somebody. It could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Doesn't have to be though. Um, you moved away from this person because they didn't give you what you needed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they were draining you of your energy. Some of you, you were with an energy vampire. Mm -hmm. And spirit just guided you away from that. Mm -hmm. Right? But this was for healing and happiness. Spirit, please clarify six of wands. Spirit also wants you to give yourself credit collective for how far you've come. Okay? You've overcome a lot. Some of you, the very fact that you can still find a smile or still find the energy to do something after dealing with someone who was very mean, very, very mean, was sapping you of your, draining you of your energy. It's like they were trying to take everything from you, right? It's like um, you plant a seed in a garden. You just you say you're gonna make you're gonna create a garden, and I'm sure it said grow. You say you're gonna grow a garden. You plant a seed and they dig it up, or as soon as it starts to sprout, sprout they dig it up, or as soon as they see that the flower is pretty, they pick it, right? And it's like spirits like no, you don't need to be around people like this. I feel like you're keeping your energy away from someone who's like this. It's like they were always trying to sabotage you or they were putting a lot of burdens on you. It's like every time you decided you wanted to do something for yourself, they decided that you needed to do this, that, and the third for them. If you want to be in the relationship or if you care or if you claim to love them. And it was like, so it's like, fuck that. <laughs> no. Be selfish. Be selfish with your time, your energy, your effort. No, sorry, I can't do that right now. I'm busy. I'm working on something. All right? Figure it the fuck out for yourself. Yes, you learn this. This is look at this. Learning karmic lessons. Okay? This is good. Some of you are doing really well. Um you you inspire a lot of people by your story or stories I'm hearing. Um you're viewed as a healer because of how much you've healed, right? Uh you're also you get a lot of respect. Okay? Some of you could have some kind of platform here. You don't have to. But it's how you overcame a situation with someone who was very fucking mean. Mm-hmm. A lot of obstacles and adversity. You came out on top. I feel like for some of you, you were in a situation where someone threw you to the wolves and you came back leading the pack. They shocked as shit. 
Right? How the fuck did you do that? After all the weight and all the burdens and all the responsibility and all the obligations I put on you, how did you get out of that? Right? And you came out stronger than before. I'm telling you, it's like Queen of the South. It's Teresita. <laughs> yeah, you're in, you're in Teresita mode. Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay, okay. Spread any more messages? Some of you, one of your lessons was realizing that a connection is supposed to pour into you. A connection is supposed to make you feel good. An attachment is draining, right? Connections help you to elevate, right? Yeah, within yourself, within your life, they help you to expand, grow, evolve. Um, attachments are draining, right? They want to, they make you want to shrink yourself, not show who you are, not be yourself, right? And feel like every little thing that's thrown at you, you're just defeated. Like, oh my God, what am I going to do? I can't do anything. No, you learn. No, that's not, that's not you. And this goes back to the beginning of the reading where it's like, you remembered who the fuck you are. Mm-hmm. Because there is an energy here that wanted to keep you codependent. They wanted to keep you isolated and codependent on them, right? They wanted you to feel like you needed them. Mm -hmm. Even though they weren't giving you shit. So what did you really need from them? Nothing, right? They wanted to just, it's like they wanted to keep you in, in, as hostage and just drain you of your energy. Mm -hmm. Everything that you're doing, you need to be doing it for them. Right? Anything that's going to benefit you, it needs to benefit them. As a matter of fact, it needs to benefit them first. And then you can think about yourself after. It was like, fuck that. It's very burdensome. But you released yourself from this. Yes, you did. That's why Spirit said, hold tight to your vision here. Some of you, it was being in a relationship with somebody or having certain types of people around you. Spirit wanted you to hold on to what it is that you wanted for yourself, for your life, right? And this was your guiding light. This was your North Star. Mm -hmm. You got the priestess, but it came in reverse. Hmm. Hmm. Spirit, please clarify. The priestess in reverse. Please clarify the priestess in reverse. Some of you could have been around um, a female energy that was um, a negative influence. Oh boy. And very controlling. Hmm. Someone was trying to block your intuition as well. Mm -hmm. They were trying to keep you so burdened that you didn't listen to yourself. You didn't trust yourself, right? You didn't follow your gut. And this is someone who wanted to keep you under their thumb. They wanted you to feel disempowered, right? This person is brokenhearted now because <laughs> they should have never did that, right? Because everything that they, they got the exact opposite effect of what they were trying to do. Someone was trying to break you, okay? Break your spirit, have you down on the ground, I'm, you know what I'm being shown? I'm being shown someone walking away and someone's grabbing onto their leg. Like, don't go. I need you. And they want you to be grabbing onto their child. Collective, you don't grab onto nobody's legs. You have two perfectly strong legs of your own to stand on. You ain't doing none of that. Not today, not tomorrow, not in this lifetime. Not anymore. Right? And this is somebody whose intuition is blocked here. They're very much in masculine energy, but this is like... This is like a karmic masculine here, okay? Very controlling, very possessive, very manipulative, right? This person is brokenhearted because they see that you've healed. Spirit, please clarify. You healed from all of the bullshit that they've tried to put you through, right? And I say tried because it didn't work, right? Because what they wanted, instead of breaking your spirit, they built it up. They made you stronger. Mm-hmm. They made you faster. They made you wiser. They made you smarter. Okay. Someone, your mind is like, boom, 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 sharp. <laughs> You're sharp. Holy shit. Mm -hmm. And you have this stare. <laughs> if, 
if looks could kill, they would have died 10 times, right? Yes. But what, what I like about your eyes is you, you don't see people, you see into them, right? You could be someone who's very good at reading people and seeing right through the bullshit, right? And you learned it by being with somebody who was a bullshit artist. Mm -hmm. This person is broken hearted. This person was definitely trying to be a negative influence on your life and it didn't work. Spirit, can I get some, um, can I get some on the Emperor in reverse? They wanted you to feel like you were nothing and nobody and you would never be good enough and you could never accomplish anything. Yeah, they wanted you to feel unhappy within yourself. Mm -hmm. They wanted you to be so unhappy within yourself that you didn't even try. You didn't give yourself a chance. That's really diabolical and fucked up. Spirit, please clarify. Five of cups in reverse. Yeah? Mm-hmm. <laughs> wow. Somebody is not at peace here because they go and... There's very restless energy in someone because you healed, right? Yeah. Or I feel like you could have healed um, not being settled within yourself. Mm-hmm. But someone's absolutely brokenhearted about this now because they see that you're not crying over any cups. You're not crying over spilled milk with them. You've moved on. You realize you can't stay in this energy forever. You definitely cannot live this way forever, right? Spirit, please clarify a few of swords. Mm-hmm. Look at this. I can't make this up. Someone is absolutely brokenhearted because of your transformation. I told you. You have two very strong legs of your own that you're standing on. You're standing 10 toes down and you've absolutely changed. Someone does not like this new you. It actually broke their heart, <laughs> right? Because this new you is powerful as shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the whole time when they were going on with their fuckery, this new you was being birthed, right? Every time they did something, you got stronger. You got smarter. You got faster. You started exercising wisdom. You started making wiser choices and better decisions for yourself. Every time this person did some fuckery. Mm -hmm. They didn't even know. Mm -hmm. They didn't know that they what they were creating. Or helping to, con contributing to creating. Alright? Because your energy, your energy says, I wish a bitch would. <laughs> yes, it does. Mm-hmm. Fuck around and find out now. Spirit, please clarify the star daughter. Mm -hmm. This person wants to come out of the cold with you. Yeah, you left this person in the dust, right? In the dirt, Spirit said, right? You buried them. Yeah, because they're dead to you. Shit. They, but the thing is, they want to come around like, oh, let's be all good again. But you weren't good with them. <laughs> all right. For some of you, this could be family, specifically a sister. And it's like after what they did to you, the idosity of them to think that they can come back around like everything's cool. It's like, no, 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 no. You, cut, you got cut out and cut off for a reason. Right. But someone wants to come back and, and be all chummy, chummy and buddy, buddy and Let's be good. They may even want to come around and act like, well, can we just be friends, right? And some of you with this energy, this energy says, I don't have friends like you. I don't keep friends like you. <laughs> I don't entertain energies like you. No, we cannot be friends. Mm -hmm. You see her scepter in her hand? No, we cannot be friends. And don't come any closer. I will beat your ass. Mm -hmm. Because you released yourself. Look, you released yourself from someone or a situation that was very toxic, right? It was codependent. And you, you're very independent now. You ain't dependent on nobody anymore. You depend on yourself, right? Things have changed. Yes. And it has somebody or somebody's absolutely brokenhearted here. Yeah. This Knight of Swords, they want to rush towards you and say something because they stress, stress now. Because mm -hmm. you left someone, you buried somebody right? You buried the life you had with them. You buried the experiences that you had with them. You, you learned the lesson and left the rest, right? You left them behind. They're losing sleep now. Mm -hmm. Spirit, please clarify five of pentacles in reverse. Oh, collector. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, this is, let me show you if, you if you don't believe me. Some of you, somebody is stressed. 
because you were the one that was taking care of them. And now that you're gone, they have nothing. Someone wants to come back though because they want the fruits of your labor. Um, you're very abundant, okay? This is abundant spiritually and abundant materially. You're very stable, right? For some of you, this person could be having a hard time finding a home or living somewhere for long periods of time or they could be homeless or I just heard hobosexual. Someone could be just getting into relationships because they need a place to stay, right? And it was good with you, right? Because you have a lot. You have enough for yourself and to share with others. That's why this person, for some of you, this person wouldn't give you anything because they're looking at you like, well, you already have it. So <laughs> are you kidding me? You're When you're in a relationship, you share. But someone's looking at you like you're the cash cow here or your money bags married. That's why they want to come back and act all chummy chummy. For some of you, this is family members that want something. Mm -hmm. They want a loan. They want to do some business with you. Okay. Business with you because they're not planning on paying you back. Spirit, please clarify. Knight of Swords, right? Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. Somebody is stressed because you came out of some delusion here, right? But it was a it was a delusion and denial that you placed on yourself. Some of you, you you're long suffering and you love people, right? And you give them the benefit of the doubt. You make excuses for their behavior. For some of you, you put up with something for a long time with somebody mm -hmm, or some bodies. And it's like once you finally got that clarity, that was a wrap. Mm -hmm. Now you have somebody stressed because you see them for who they are. Mm hmm I just heard, and you remember what they did. You remember how they treated you. Spirit, please clarify. Nine of, yes. I can't make this up to Ross. To Ross. <laughs> Collective. Look at this. Someone is stressed because they realize that you're a whole earth angel. You're a star seed. You're not even fucking from here. And you are very powerful, and you remember that. Oh, boy. They stress, stress now. Losing sleep, going, having nightmares. Someone's lies has caught up to them. Mm-hmm. I also feel like someone is, they're going through extreme anxiety because it's like you were hidden in plain sight. I told you, someone did not see who you would become. They didn't see that. No. They see it now though, right? Oh boy. Someone's like, I fumbled the fucking bag. <laughs> oh my gosh. Man, it's like, um... Judas, when he betrayed Jesus and got caught, oh my gosh, he just died inside, yeah, it's like, what, what the fuck did I just do, right, and you can't take it back, because you already did it, yeah, that's how someone feels about you, what the fuck did I just do, hmm, spirit, please clarify, glow, Wow. Someone wanted to keep your light dim. They didn't want you to shine. They didn't want you to show yourself. Someone wanted to keep you under their thumb, taking care of them, feeding them. It's like, um, I keep hearing hemorrhaging. And if you watch those vampire movies where it's like, um, they keep, they have the, what are they called? Um, I can't remember what they call them, but it's like, they have a, a bunch of humans that they just feed off of, right? And just have them in cages and feed off Someone wanted to have you like that. They just wanted to have you put away from everybody and you feed into them. You take care of them. You make sure that they're good. Mm -hmm. You give them all your energy, time, effort, resources. Right? Being absolutely drained of your life force. They wanted to have you like that. Mm -hmm. I told you, look. They didn't want you to recognize that you are a whole fucking empress around here, up in this bitch. They didn't want you to recognize your power. They didn't want you to recognize that you do not need them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like I said, you do not need them. Okay. You had some people here. For some of you, you had up to three people who were working against you in some way. It could have been in a job. You could have had some co-workers that were starting rumors or trying to sabotage you or undermine you in some way. It didn't even work. You got that promotion anyway. You could have left the job, the workplace, and got a better job. Mm -hmm. All right. Right? Look at this. 
You don't need them. You didn't need them then, and you don't need them now. Mm -hmm. You're good, okay? Sitting pretty, living comfortably, stable. Mm -hmm. You had some people or you had someone who did not want you to work on yourself. They didn't want to see you grow, right? It's like every time you tried to plant a seed. So you could have went to someone and been like, oh, I want to do this course. I want to get this certification. I want to get this licensing. I want to start this business. I have this business idea. And they were there to just stomp it out, dig up the seed, try to plant other seeds in your head that you can't do it. They wanted to break your spirit. But who ja bless, no man curse, right? And if God be for you, who be against you? You are a star seed, okay? You're not like everybody. You ain't messing with no average bitch boy. Masculine or feminine energy, okay? My masculines, they, they didn't realize that they weren't dealing with no average ninja, okay? And that's why your ancestors, your guides, your angels were looking at you like, we're just waiting for you to remember. Remember who the fuck you are and what you're capable of because you forgot, but it's time to wake up. Mm -hmm. Someone wanted you to stay asleep, right? They wanted you to sleep on yourself. Mm -hmm. Your ass woke up. Spirit, please clarify the Empress. Yes, your ass woke all the way up. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Your higher self was like, hello. <laughs> hello, collective. It's time, okay? Mm -hmm. I love this. Whoever I'm speaking to, you've worked on your confidence a lot. You say nice things to yourself. You empower yourself. You could be someone who looks in the mirror or says affirmations every morning. Mm -hmm. I'm also hearing, um, is it subliminal programming? So you just put on your headphones or have your phone on at night and you just let the programming, the reprogramming begin. I am powerful. I am abundant. I am successful. I am beautiful from the inside out. I am love. I am light. I am divine. Because hmm. that's what you believe about yourself and that's why you are like this. Mm -hmm. Spirit, please clarify three of coins. I feel like you started to walk away from people. Mm -hmm. You started to say, you know what? I ain't even fucking with you like that, to be honest. Right? I'm not trying to work on anything. I see nothing's going to grow here. So deuces. Mm -hmm. And you're fine. You're so fine. Oh my gosh. It's like you, um, Beyonce has a song a long time ago. It's, um, um, I walk like that. Oh, is, it, is it ego? Got a big ego. Such a huge ego. I walk like that because I can back it up. Right. You're someone who, when you say you're going to do something, you do it. Right. And you don't need validation from anybody else because you're pretty good at validating yourself. Mm-hmm. Spirit, please clarify three of pentacles. Yes, look at this healing. You healed. For some of you, you had people around you that would, um, they would mess with your mind. They would fuck, mind fuck you all the time. Emotional healing, psychological, um, mental, they would fuck with you all the time. They wanted you to feel like you could not be who you knew yourself to be, right? They wanted you to, um, to feel like you could only be who they allowed you to be or you needed permission to live, right? It's like, no, 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 no. Mm -mm. right i feel like separating from somebody or some bodies has helped you to heal it helped you to awaken these people were catalysts in your um ascension though mm -hmm. spirit please clarify queen of pentacles yes they taught you how to fight for yourself yes it doesn't matter if you have to go through hell and high water you're going mm -hmm. and you're coming out on top okay this is like the um rise of the phoenix <laughs> what they fail to realize is that you don't burn in fire you get refined right so problems don't make you crumble and go in yourself and not come out okay they make you stand the fuck up yes they do okay they make you woman up or man up they they force you to rise to the occasion phoenix rising okay yeah so thank them because they did teach you mm-hmm how to not back down, how to say no and mean it, mm -hmm. how, how to have boundaries, very firm boundaries too, yeah, and how to protect what the fuck you're building for yourself, right, and how to protect your energy. Yes, they told you how to fight and taught you how to fight for who you are and what you want for your life. 
they really did help you to strive to be a better version of yourself. Because mm -hmm. some of you, I'm not going to lie, you could have been in an energy with people where it was like um, the commonality that you had was addictions. Like you drank, you smoked, you partied, right? Mm -hmm. Or feeling addicted to somebody like you needed them, you needed their energy. They helped you to realize, no, you don't. You need you, your guides, your angels, your ancestors, and whoever else spirit sends to bless you. But you don't need them. Hmm. <clears throat> they stressed about that, right? Somebody really is. Um, someone in this collective, your spirituality bothers somebody or bothers some other some people, right? Because it, they saw they see how strong you are. It's like they're seeing the contrast of who you were before you woke up and who you are now, and it's like, well, damn, okay. They they fumbled the whole Earth Angel here. Mm -hmm. Spirit, can I get some 5D messages? Fumble Earth Angel, all right? And for some of you, you have some people in shock and they're disappointed with themselves because it's like, you were always the winning team or you're someone that it's good to be on your team, to have you on their team, right? No better um, player, no better team member, right? And they acted like you ain't shit. You're not really contributing anything, right? Or your contributions are not all that valuable. You're just here to feed them, pour into them. They realize they did, they wish they never did that now. Can I get some 5D messages, Spirit? You have people wanting to come out of the cold with you, but you see them for who the fuck they are? Yes, you are. Uh, yes, you have. You're also speaking your truth to people. They may not like how it comes out. I don't feel like you're being rude to people. I feel like you're calling people out on their bullshit. I feel like you're telling people about themselves. And even if they don't want to hear it, that it, it is, it's already been said, <laughs> right? Because mm -hmm. you know what you know. I feel like you're not making excuses for people anymore, right? When people show you who they are, you believe them? Mm -hmm. Can I get some 5D messages, Spirit? Remember the song. So you could be being, have a telepathic connection with somebody or there is a song that motivates you. Mm -hmm. I keep hearing, is it Beyonce? I'm a, Destiny's Child. I'm a survivor. I'm not going to give up. Mm -hmm. Some of you, you have a motivation song. What's your motivation song? Put it in the comments. <laughs> right? I have a few of them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> One of them is uh, Beyonce. Sorry, not sorry. I ain't sorry. Nigga, no. <laughs> right? Mm hmm can't fool you your third eye is wide open i cannot make this up you see right through people right through the bullshit right through the illusion they can try to pull the wool over other people's eye but you don't need your eyes to see you're very intuitive you need your eye and you see it okay you see what they're not showing you hear what they're not saying right so they know they can't fool you. That's why you have some people that's like, well, if you can't beat them, join them. Let me go and try get back in good with the collective now, right? And these were people that dead ass, they tried to keep you down. They tried to prevent you from shining and showing yourself and being your true authentic self. They tried to prevent you from being happy. They tried to prevent you from living, right? And then they want to come around now like everything's cool, right? Like it was all good just a week ago. No, it's not. Surrounded, <laughs> surrounded by low vibrational energies, time to clear things away. Yeah, some of you, this is happening presently where you are going to be serving some people a hot plate, right? Of, of the truth, yeah? Yeah, telling people about themselves because you realize that they're low vibrational and your ass is clearing that all away, okay? That's why I heard earlier, some people, they are, they're dead to you. You've buried them, mm-hmm. You've done your grieving and you moved on and you're feeling good now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You are a star seed. I can't make this up. Whoever I'm speaking to, it keeps coming out. You are not from here. Here, You are in the world, but you are not of the world. So remember your power. Remember who you are. Continue to do that. I feel like who I'm speaking to, you know this. Mm -hmm. You know this. There is a, a pride in you, a confidence in you now, because it's like 
that wallflower flower that this person or these people tried to make you feel like you realize no in the bible it says um the builder that rejects the the stone or something like that the builder that rejects the stone becomes the head cornerstone right so it's it's all about they threw you to the wolves you came back leading the pact whose last will be first whose first will be last they counted you out right when they should have counted you number one, they underestimated you. You were the underdog. Hmm. You're not from here. You don't play by their rules. And you definitely don't subscribe to their belief systems. Right? Embody the energy of the person you want to be with. I feel like you are attracting someone who's just like you. Whoever you're meeting, they're going to be a star seed as well. Okay? Because energy recognize energy. Mm-hmm. This, the vibration is not a match. A lot of you, you started to not resonate with people anymore as you began to grow and evolve, okay? Remember all that stuff that was going on underneath the surface? Who you were becoming, but it really was who you were remembering yourself to be. You're putting yourself back together because you had some people who were trying to break you, right? They wanted to have you fragmented, right? And you realize that, you know what? I don't even vibe with you guys. You guys gotta go, right? Or I don't vibe with you. Mm-hmm. Some of you could have left a group of friends because they were on some fuck shit, <laughs> like straight up. Like they weren't saying nothing. You are stronger than you think. I cannot make this up. And I'm going to pull one more in closing, right? You realize that. They realize that. Mm -hmm. Spirit is giving you back everything I stole from you and there's nothing I can do about it. Uber salty. But this came in reverse, right? So I'm reading this like they can't take nothing from you, right? <laughs> Because they never gave you anything. So it's like someone can't knock you off your platform if they didn't put you on there. Someone can't take your happiness from you because it comes from you. Someone can't take your peace because it comes from you. They can't take your confidence because it comes from you, right? Fruits of the spirit, they come from you. They come from spirit. So they can't take them from you. They can't take from you what they didn't give you. Hmm. Point blank, period, right? And now you have all these people salty or you have someone salty because they realize that. Mm -hmm. and it doesn't seem to look like it doesn't you don't seem to be in this energy of i forgive you let's reconcile and rekindle right i feel like with this energy you've set your sights higher you set your sights past these people you don't even see them anymore right if they want to be stuck in the past and stuck on stupid that's on them okay that's just not your problem mm -hmm. good for you collective nice i like it you have yourself a fantastic morning noon or night and I will catch your beautiful energy on the flip side. Bye.